I really hope that this message is one of the messages that you don't skip across, that you don't just like scroll on. I really hope you listen to this full message. If you've been on social media in the last couple years, you may have seen this man. Ryan fully publicly tell you a self-professed Christian preacher who has spent his time streaming his version of Christianity at TikTok viewers and harassing Catholics. Subway, I got a quick message for you. Does anyone want to make a stand for Jesus today and say me? Anyone? Profess Jesus Christ in front of man and he says, I will have your best. The video I'm about to show you is me walking into a Catholic church, walking up onto the pew and preaching to the Catholics. Also, invading the home of people doing different religious ceremonies. All Scots, do me a bit. If you do not repent of your sins, accept Jesus into your Needless to say, Ryan is definitely a personality, but most people know of him for one specific reason. It's gender porn, gay porn, degrading porn. I came on this platform and said that watching porn over the years led to me watching some pretty gross and nasty stuff. His strange obsession with telling everyone about his former <laughs> uh, porn addiction and his dating of transgenders. <clears throat> transgenders having sex with chicks. And why am I watching this stuff? Well, because I'm opening myself up to spirits and spirits the more I watch the porn and I don't even realize it. You know, and as it gradually goes, it gets darker. And I was watching mm, mm, transgenders having sex with like transgenders and then dudes. And, and I'm like, why am I watching this stuff? He has had a major chaser fetish and has been battling his sexuality for what seems like years now. The funny part, though, is that even while making these videos, he was still on Grindr and other hookup apps indulging himself. Struggling with homosexuality. For years upon years, I was watching transgender... Wait up, Brian. Wait up. Creepin', <laughs> creepin', creepin', you know it. Satan's whisper in your ear about that sinful garbage. We're in the last days before Jesus comes back. Temporary pleasure is a delayment to eternal pleasure. Satan's deceiving you with, hey, hey, hey. Hi, this is Satan speaking, telling you to stop hating yourself. I am in a corner backed with nowhere to go except to sexual immorality. The devil has been tempting me to go back to sexual immorality. Give yourself over to absolute pleasure. Swim the warm waters of sins of the flesh. Now, it might just be the TikTok brain rot, and it might just be him trying to be a personality online. But what I do know is that his behavior is unhelpful and it's unhealthy. But thankfully, he's pissed off everybody. The only good thing he's done is rebuke Joel Olstein, which I think he only did for views. He's trying to become an internet personality. Yo, I'm not coming to you out of pastry, but you cannot have people here lining up to meet you while you are selling books in the house of the Lord. Jesus said my house will be a house of prayer. How is this a church you're selling in there? can tell he not only had an unhealthy addiction to pornography but also to social media so we came out here to street preach and there's actually um a majority of catholics and a lot of the people in my comments have said i want you to have a respectful conversation with catholics so we're going to be asking these people about some different things about how catholicism is not according to the scriptures here he is interacting with catholics in public and not invading the pulpit but if you have looked into the scriptures and seen the Catholicism, you're inviting in evil entities when you do the rosary, the heresy. All this is not biblical. Really? Absolutely. Every single prayer of the rosary can be found in sacred scripture. I'm here now. Come, come do it here. Come do it now on Sunday and see how fast you get thrown out. Is this a, a tough guy? Uh, no, this is, this, is, this is a, a fact. Becoming a tough guy. I don't, we don't want you actually breaking into the church on Sunday.
he interrupted a pride parade last year and put the beat down on an old man. I will not stand. Dwayne, don't do anything. Dwayne, stop, baby. Dwayne, Dwayne, stop, baby. Dwayne, don't stop. Oh, my God. Go way back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. He even harassed people at a small business that he calls a witch shop. Right now where they sell witchcraft, and I want you to see something very carefully. They have Mary here. Now why would they have Mary inside of a witchcraft place where they sell witchcraft and voodoo? It is because Mary is a false god. It is idolatry. This is the same place. We will be meeting with the souls matter. The souls matter. It's in the same place where they sell tarot cards, all types of witchcraft, voodoo, and all of this stuff. And yet at the same time, they have pictures of Mary. Don't you understand what Catholicism really is? Wake up. Get out of Catholicism. It's idolatry. I don't want to infer that Ryan is a pedophile, but he seems really fucking weird around children. Six-year-old just said to me, he was in his car waiting for his mom and I was packing my stuff and he rolled down his window, he was looking at me. And I looked over at him, we started talking. And he said, do you know what I know? God was sad on Valentine's Day because he didn't have anyone to give a Valentine to. And I said, why don't you ask him for a Valentine? He'll give you one. I said, really? What would God give to me? I looked down. I looked at him and I said, eternal life. I feel like this video is going to get taken down. I'm going to expose. Have you ever had pedophilia thoughts? Have you ever had incest thoughts? Lustful thoughts? Homosexual thoughts? Guys, do you understand? And I don't care if you're like, why are you asking me that, dude? You're disgusting. I don't care. <laughs> do you know that all of these weird, disgusting, conniving thoughts, there's an enemy who goes around tormenting kids and adults, whatever, planting these disgusting thoughts in their head, making them feel like they're evil. You're not evil! Now this is just a small look at what religious trauma can do to a person. Well, you may be wondering why you haven't heard from him lately. And no, he didn't get arrested again. Supposedly, he relapsed hard and lost everything. He's disappeared from social media for around six to eight months now, nuked everything, and has gone to the International House of Prayer to become better at preaching and be less annoying. Some might think this is a good thing for him. I, I've been gone for about three months. Oh, how the Lord has humbled me. The Lord told me that I cannot come back to social media. I personally believe he should get away from what's causing him so much trauma in his life. And it's obviously not the transgenders. It's his Christian upbringing. Satan, you think that you're going to get me into watching porn? You think I'm another fool? You leave my house. You leave my presence in the name of Jesus. This is, this is where the Holy Spirit resides. We live in the last days. Jesus is at the footstool of coming back. Do you think that I am another fool? Well, hopefully he just goes the fuck away forever. Connected to the body of Christ and grafted in to his true gospel. God's not coming back to... Earlier today, me and my coworkers were verbally assaulted and harassed in our workplace. And apparently, I myself have a demon on me, but don't worry, one of them cast it out of me. May the Holy Spirit just move through your Holy Spirit. Yeah, I take Get that spirit off of you. Get out, God. Thank you so much. Get out because you're terrified. Because men scare me. Get out. Couldn't be that I'm a domestic violence survivor who is terrified of men and terrified when they scream at me. Thanks for casting that demon out. I'm sure it'll never happen again, boys. This happened three separate times today. Yeah, you heard me, three. Two of these men were criminally trespassed. However, your other little young friend here? Yeah, this guy right here. Um, he apparently didn't feel so strongly about his convictions because he fled when the cops arrived. And these two also totally backtracked and said that they weren't yelling at anyone or harassing anyone. They were just simply trying to talk to us about the love of Jesus. Jesus Christ, all power out of this 
storm. All of it. All of it. We can all the power of all the witchcraft in this storm. There were children, by the way, in the store all three times they were screaming at us about going to hell. The first time that they came in, they just wanted to tell us supposedly about Jesus and the love of Jesus, but they got progressively more aggressive. As they left, I actually followed them out and let them know that uh, Jesus was tossing tables in the church. And so maybe you should start with your own church when you're looking to, I don't know, fix things. They apparently didn't like that because all three of them came in. This one, this one over here that Clyde's talking to, screaming at me, would you like to talk about Jesus? Come out here and talk about Jesus as if he's gonna fight me. No wonder I was shaking. Us three women at the counter tried to get them to leave, but of course they wouldn't listen to us. It wasn't until Clyde came out and spoke to them that they finally left. The third time they came in, they were just screaming and I guess praying over the place and telling us all we were going to hell. There were idols in our spot. The idols they were talking about was uh, the Holy um, Virgin Mary. So they, they don't like Catholics either, by the way. <laughs> Which is confirmed because Clyde told him that they are Catholics. The owners of the shop are Catholics. So they don't they don't like that. Another fun fact about these three individuals is apparently this is what they do. So be on the lookout for these three.